time, and I hope uh, all of us should join Nagaland Education Association. So, uh, NAP National Education Policy 2020 is here, and it uh, emphasizes to use education to transform India into a knowledge society, and uh, it visualizes India as a uh, knowledge superpower in the world. And uh, India is getting ready to manpower professionals are working in India, and especially mathematicians from South India. You know, without um, India, it is so difficult to think of uh, this kind of uh, uh, progress. And therefore, India is getting ready to supply manpower, uh, uh, professionals, skilled manpower professionals. And so likewise, um, you know, uh, so many good, good things are uh, outlined in the NDP 2020. I do not know what kind of generation is going to follow after this. So when I say alpha generation, born early 2010 and then mid 2020 okay so to so in order to meet these demands the needs of this present generation i think reforms was necessary and finally it is you know being implemented so we have to rise up to the occasion and then we need to align you know to the changing climate of this present generation right and then when we talk about the 21st century uh, 21st century we are talking about the 21st century skills, where uh, we're also talking about digital spaces, you know, which is dominating now, right? Uh, we are all going digital, you know, everybody is with the, what, uh, what should say I say? Gadgets, and then whatever we do, everything is becoming, we, can, we are seeing more global connect. There's globally we are connecting, but without traveling, right? Without traveling, we are making connections. Now, um, in the 21st century, we, when we look at, the, at our markets, our employment, everything is altering. Now we have, uh, you know, something like digital marketing. Marketing is no longer what, you know, we go to the shops, we buy something, and then we negotiate going to the shop and meeting the person. Everything has changed. The face of, you know, marketing has changed. So uh, that way, there's a shift in the 21st century uh, life and the way of living. From curriculum and assessment. Because policy directs us for formations of curriculum. Then the curriculum directs us what pedagogy a teacher should take. And as in the earlier education policy, already we told that assessment is uh, of learning, as learning, and for learning. So it becomes a part of pedagogy also. So pedagogy, assessment, and curriculum, we cannot separate that things. In my understanding, present education policy is an over-ambitious attempt. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.